situations it can be quite hard to see your focus you know you've got the zebras button you can set the zebra you can there's a button down here called custom picture and get a little okay that's the scene of there and now you can move around the scene okay you cannot film that that's not, that's not filming that I am nursing my Stella when a man at the end of the bar starts making eyes at me he is barely handsome the way certain southern US senators are barely alive he says, I'm Mark. He comes and sits next to me. I tell him my name is Diana. Eleanor McCarthy has always done the right thing. But right now, she's drowning in debt, unable to pay her father's medical bills. The bank she works in has just been robbed, and she's been passed over for promotion in favor of office bitch, Deborah. We always knew we were doing a feature, so we always, you know, we're always aware of that extra shot that maybe it wouldn't be a TV shot, the extra shot of track and the extra shot of landscape. You know, you know, you would get away with TV at times just shooting that corner, but we had to be aware of the backdrop. And so that that was always going on. But it is fundamentally that footage. But that's what my mother did for me to try and bring me out of myself and then I did love the theatre. She took me to the gate a lot and we didn't have very much money so we used to sit in the cheap seats, one and six on a Saturday afternoon and you could sit up there at the back in the gate and I knew from the very beginning that they were having a lot more fun up there in the light mm -hmm. than I was having in the dark and I thought that's where I want to be, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you do 20 films in your life as a filmmaker, I mean you, you but if you do only one every four years and each time you want it to be, it depends on the reason why you're making a film. This is always the, the case. And if you're talking to distributor, distributor, I always find them they are one success, uh, one hit too late. They always want the next movie to look like the last success. Obviously a certain amount of what comes out of the system must go back to the investors as a return to the investors. And the perception would be, from a government point of view, that that in effect is uh, not going directly into the business of the production of the film itself, and is therefore, it's sometimes referred to as leakage. I think certainly we found that our producers, it's about a creative collaboration. And it really, it strengthens not only the script, the whole approach, their views on rough cut, it just brings in another element that is really valuable. I always feel like you have to write for the people who are walking into the film with no clue what it is. And if we had started the film with just this family and everything else that was going on, um, I think you want to give people just a sense of what kind of film it is. So if you start out with a couple of bad guys murdering an entire motel full of people and then cut to the family drama, it's, it sort of prepares you for the terrain. So not being able to know when to shut up and uh, there's one requisite for a creative producer. The other one is to, as you said, recognize talent and give them space. And no, of course not unlimited space, but give them space to develop the ideas, go maybe in the wrong direction for a while, then rein them in and then let them go off in another direction. And maybe at some point finding out that the first direction was the right one anyway. Try to understand. Yeah. Kind of like a <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, you have a plan, don't you? And he started thinking about different ways that you could tell the story that makes it really kind of unique.